The movie begins with a marriage between Gotam and Ira. Gotam provides their friends and guests with a beautiful speech about the importance of love and finding the right person to stay together with for their entire life. Gotam ends up messing up the speech because he was drunk as a skunk. However, there was one guest at the party that truly felt Gotam's words, Jaggi. Jaggi is the protagonist of this story. He was highly impressed with Gotam's speech. This motivates him to go out and look for someone to love. Time passes by. We meet Jaggi once again, this time traveling to London. Unfortunately, when he's trying to illegally pass through the border, he gets caught. Jaggi is sent to the Indian Embassy. Lucky for him, this is where his friend Gotam works at. Jaggi immediately recognizes the man that made such a powerful speech some nights before. Actually, Jaggi directly thanks Gotam because of the speech. He explains that the reason he was moving to London was because of the powerful speech he did at their wedding. But why? Gotam cannot understand what's the relationship between going to London and the motivational speech at the wedding. It makes no sense whatsoever. However, there's a logical explanation for this. Jaggi narrates his story, which dates to three months back, right after the wedding. There, we find Jaggi playing a hockey match. He's participating in a tournament for his state, Punjab. At this event, Jaggi and his friends head to the swimming pool, not only to take a swim but also to watch the girls who are training there. Kartika, a beautiful woman, comes out of the swimming pool. She's a professional swimmer who's training for a competition just like Jaggi. Jaggi likes this woman and he believes she could be the one for him. So, when Kartika comes out of the pool and heads to the ladies' room, Jaggi poses on the floor and asks his friends to take a picture. He wants the woman to appear in the photo with him. Jaggi's friend takes the picture and Kartika appears behind him. However, Kartika notices that Jaggi has taken a picture without her permission and she argues with him. She doesn't want him to post the picture on social media. Jaggi, however, doesn't care the least about what Kartika was saying. In the end, Jaggi posts the polemic picture on Facebook with a rather peculiar description. Life's too short and so are we with the hashtag always better touch with her. Kartika doesn't like Jaggi's actions. So, she decides to take revenge by humiliating Jaggi on social media as well. What will Karthina do? The angry woman breaks into the men's room while Jaggi is taking a shower. She takes her cell phone out and points it to Jaggi. She wants to take a picture of him naked. Believe it or not, Jaggi willingly poses naked for her, showing his strong arms and muscle. It seems that Kartika's plan was a blatant failure. After that, Jaggi follows Kadik almost everywhere, wanting to talk to her. Later, the two meet at the swimming pool once again. While Kartika is practicing, Jaggi begins to provide unsolicited advice to Kartika on how she should improve her swimming techniques. Kartika, though, comes out of the water and pushes the annoying man into the water. Unfortunately, Jaggi is a terrible swimmer and he begins to drown. Rather ironic considering that Jaggi was some moments before giving advice on how to swim. Naturally, Kartika believes Jaggi is acting out and playing a joke on her. So, Kartika blatantly ignores him. Eventually, the woman realizes that Jaggi is playing no joke at all. He's drowning for real. In the blink of an eye, Kartika jumps into the swimming pool and saves Jaggi's life. Believe it or not, that event turned out for the better, though. After taking Jaggi out of the water, Kartika feels guilty and repents her act. This seems to have built some sort of intimacy between the two because, after that, they begin to go out regularly. They have fun, share their knowledge about each of their sports, and go to parties. In the end, they share intimacy for the very first time after going to a party. That morning, Kartika's dad calls her and tells her that he and the family will come to see her at the competition. The day of the competition comes and Kartika wins it, so Jaggi approaches her to congratulate her. There, Jaggi meets Kartika's parents for the first time. The two like Jaggi, so they invite him to Kartika's wedding, which will happen soon. Jaggi feels as if he was thrown a bucket of cold water. He can't believe the woman he was dating was about to marry, and she never spoke a word about it. Jaggi meets Kartika and asks her what's going on. He wants an answer immediately. If she already knew she was going to get married, why did she say nothing to him? Why did they date as if nothing happened? The woman apologizes and explains that the wedding was fixed way before meeting Jaggi. Understandably, Jaggi leaves with a broken heart. Later that night, the two meet at another party. Jaggi approaches Kartika and confesses that he is madly in love with her. He wants her to cancel the wedding and stay with him. Kartika wants to get rid of Jaggi, who's beginning to be a nuisance. So, Kartika says she will cancel the wedding but with one condition. She wants Jaggi to mean his words, 
So, she proposes he heads to London after three months. If Jaggy's emotions are real, he will do it. If he appears, then there will be no wedding whatsoever, and Kartika will remain with Jaggy. Needless to say, Jaggy was serious about it and determined to win Kartika's heart, so, he applies for a United Kingdom visa. Unfortunately, he doesn't get it. He applies once again, and again, and again, but to no avail. Of course, this won't stop Jaggy. Plan B is to get into the country illegally, crossing the border. Now, it's back to the present again, with Jaggy being held by Gotam at the embassy after trying to pass through the border. Gotam explains that he and his wife Ira have grown apart due to misunderstandings and communication breakdowns. Gotam's views on love have drastically changed since he did that speech, which means that he cannot be on Jaggy's side. On top of that, Gotam tells Jaggy that he will be deported to India for breaking the law. So, Jaggy decides to escape. Jaggy still holds tight to his belief. He wants to meet Kartika no matter what. The man gets into a fight with the officials, but they beat Jaggy up and severely wound him. His attempt at escaping failed completely. Lucky for him, both the tussle and the paperwork made him lose the only plane to India. What's more, the next flight will be within two days, which means that Jaggy cannot leave the UK even if he wanted. Gotam has no alternative. He needs to keep Jaggy at his house for two days until the next flight. So, while heading home, Jaggy notices there's a huge river next to them. He soon discovers that crossing the river leads to Kartika's home. Jaggy promises he will cross that river and find the love of his life. Do you think he's out of his mind? Then, Jaggy calls Kartika. He explains that he's in France but will meet her within two days. Meanwhile, Gotam and his wife Ayer are discussing. Gotam finally meets his wife at a restaurant to settle down the argument and improve their relationship. Sadly, things go wrong in the end, and they sign the divorce papers. Both Gotam and Jaggy are returning home. On their way back, Jaggy spots a swimming suit in a store. He reminds Gotam that he still wants to swim the English Channel to meet Kartika. Gotam tells him that it would be suicide because swimming across the channel is a difficult task to accomplish successfully, even for professionals. So, Gotam takes Jaggy to a pool and makes him swim over and over again until he becomes an experienced swimmer. The next morning, though, Gotam cannot find Jaggy. It turns out that he had left earlier to cross the English Channel. He also made a call to Ira, asking her to reconcile with Gotam. Both Gotam and Ira go to stop him before it's too late. Unfortunately, it was. Jaggy already entered the English Channel in an attempt to meet Kartika. Unsurprisingly, Jaggy gets tired and cannot continue swimming. He begins to drown, but luckily, a group of sailors finds and rescue him. When Kartika finds out about Jaggy's deed, she calls him. Kartika says that she's in love with Jaggy as well. After all, he not only meant his words but also was brave enough to take the hard road. Kartika begs him to come to look for her as fast as he can, otherwise, she will have to marry the other guy. Jaggy's determination is too strong. This makes Gotam reflect upon his friend's feelings toward Kartika. He soon realizes that he must help Jaggy fulfill his goal. Gotam manages to clandestinely obtain an Indian student's passport from old files. Sadly, the young student gets deported. It seems that things are about to work out for the best, at least, for Jaggy. Unfortunately, there's a small detail that will cause lots of problems. It turns out that Jaggy made a friend with a man called Bailal. Jaggy told Bailal about his love story with Kartika and that he was planning to travel illegally to the UK with a stolen passport. Bailo stabs Jaggy in the back. He calls the authorities and tells everything to them. Jaggy and Gotam head to the airport. Unfortunately, Jaggy is on the verge of boarding the plane when law enforcement officials encircle the airport. Jaggy does his best to hide among the other travelers. In the end, though, Jaggy sneaks into the landing gear of the plane. In other words, in the front wheel compartment. The plane takes off and Jaggy successfully evades the authorities. The plane slowly but steadily goes higher and higher. Nonetheless, the higher the plane goes, the lower the temperature in the compartment cabinet. Jaggy begins to freeze and eventually faints because of the cold. He has a dream in which he meets Kartika again. Sadly, this is the last time Jaggy will see Kartika. It turns out that Jaggy remains unconscious for the entire flight. When the plane is about to land, the landing gear compartment opens its door. There, Jaggy, who was still unconscious, falls down into the open air. Needless to say, this leads to Jaggy's death, who hits hard against the solid ground. Meanwhile, Cartina is in London, waiting for Jaggy's arrival. She has cancelled the wedding because she's really in love with Jaggy. Kartika receives the news of Jaggy's accident when she meets Gotam. 
Gotam tells the sad story to Kartika, who cannot believe her ears. Finally, Gotam and Ira get well together again. Gotam tells Jaggi's love story to a group of friends. He concludes that there's a special one for everyone in this world and that no person should be deprived of their own love story.